just woke up now and my stomach feels flat finally like look at this like four hours ago I couldn't even do a vacuum my arms feeling kind of vascular <laughs> look at the side The lead's kind of dry as well. The tan is a bit gone, but like I'm gonna get the final tan right now. So I'm kind of nervous, guys. It's two in the morning. Two, wait, wait, three in the morning, and I have the show in six hours. Try it. That's what I call it. <laughs> Another, um. Oh, here's the back. This is in the middle of the night, and my man Joe just drive me to the venue. It's too dark and you can't see it, but like, I have to eat four chocolate bars right now, and I'll see how it goes, guys. I, I feel like I'm not spilling, and the striations are kind of full, so not to worry about spilling, but like I'm worried about under carving instead. So see you at the hotel. Once again, I arrived at the hotel to get my final turn on, and now I, I'm going to get some sleep after this. Guys, this is what I look like after getting the tan. I wore my suit underneath the pants. The lighting here is not totally good, so even for my upper body. So yeah, I got veins here and there. Seems like I'm not spilling too much carbs. So yeah, I will be filming backstage to post one more time because I had to be practicing back there, but the light is so bad and my whole body is basically dark, so I don't find any meaning to practice here so I will sleep for a while first because like I still need to sleep and like for now I will just tidy up my stuff and leave so maybe I will grab a few pictures and leave right now so apparently I'm kind of too nervous and can't sleep yet so I will just eat some rice crisps with some shit or like that and just cough up a bit and now I'm so tired and my stomach is not really 
doing well with those chocolate and it's kind of painful everywhere like my mouth my throat I don't even want to talk and like yeah the show has to keep going on and like I will just see you when I arrive at the theater so I just woke up and now I will eat one bag of salted mini rice cakes one banana and some gas ex pills and like I'm two hours away from a show and I'm kind of sleepy but like excited at the same time so I will see how it goes and update you when I get to the movie theater I'm pumping up right now and the, uh, off stage we cannot really film it so I will just film the backstage right now that are uh, telling you I cannot film on stage so I will let you know the result later on and here are some of my pumping up sessions So I just went out to post for the first round for True Office and now I'm backstage pumping up, carving up again and I will get a small pump later on to step on stage for the open class B like my height and instead of the junior one so like I have to carve up again and I'm not sure if the strategy is right but like I will just try it out anyways because like if I if I spill it's not gonna be so obvious that my strategy is gonna be all gone because yesterday I kinda under carb a bit so I think today I will be fine so I will see how it goes and try to find if I can get any of the posing footage on stage of me so my show is now all over and I can finally eat some real food instead of the chocolate bars cereals and like those kind of dehydration process and like I thought I would like to eat those uh, junk food but like after the prep carb up I'm now scared of chocolate like when I see chocolate bar I will form it I'm, I'm not kidding those chocolate is like devil or hell to my mouth and like I really wanna eat some clean and real food instead of those junk food calorie dense food and like my striations are starting to get lost or like just see it for yourself I'm trying I'm getting the water back in my system and now I feel like I'm gonna gain some weight but like I'm fine with it because it's been a long time since I'm too deprived and my hands are like very very painful I have so much wounds on my fingertips let's see yep yep that's the wound and same for here my fingertips have so much wounds and it's so painful on my fingers and like the show is finally over and I will see where they are placed and ask the judges opinion and so on
Guys, so since I finished competing, I'm gonna go get some all you can eat. Eating some real meat instead of those eggs and carrots and like some real food. So I'm excited for it and not really hungry, but I think I can still eat a lot. So I will see how it goes. Look at this shit. <laughs> I'm at the Aikido Center. Aikido, more like martial art bullshito. It doesn't even work on people. Like, touch your stupid pinky and I will fly across the earth. This is not Dragon Ball Z. This is real world with gravity. Newton's law are real, although they look fake. So Aikido is just like, fuck off guys. It doesn't work. I used to do judo and like throwing people actually takes a lot of strength, not just touching your goddamn pinky <laughs> after I competed in classic physique and sit down and watch the show now I realized that my chest was smaller than the, the female days, competitors please. they wear heels all day long and got their chest and legs bigger than mine possibly Better 94, maybe like they have a smaller waist in comparison and like they have looking, bigger looking legs than mine but like they really have a, a big calf and like mine is so small compared to theirs and no wonder why I didn't place top 5 in class Fix the back the stage. Fix the front Thank you, ladies. Can exit the stage. We'll call back the top five. Yeah, she's 58 years old. Oh, wow, she's 58. Masters 55 plus, Christine Springman. Great job, congratulations. Let's hear it for this lady. Thanks, Chris. 